Thank you for calling Dr. Barbosa's Family Health Center. This is Kara. How may I help you? Hello, this is Brandon Crickser. My wife and I are expecting a newborn child coming up soon. I was just wondering if I could set up an appointment to discuss some questions I had. Sure, I have an available appointment on Tuesday around 2 p.m. Would that work for you? Um, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. 2 p.m. Tuesday. Sounds good. Alrighty, see you then. Take care. Hi, how can I help you? We're the Crickser's. We have an appointment at 2. With Dr. Barbosa? Yep. All right, I'll get you to his office. All right, he'll be in and just a bit. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much, ma'am. Huh. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Dr. you. Dr. Barbosa. Brandon. Nice Anna. Brandon. So what brings you guys today? Uh, well, we have some questions on the development of our child and just what happens and what goes on. How long are you in this pregnancy? We're about eight months. Right, well, let me describe to you guys um, something known as the mountain motor development, which uh, us doctors use. And it's uh, as stated by Pamela S. Heibach, Greg Reed, and Douglas H. Kohler. A sequence of uh, events, which we refer to as periods, in which it's uh, your child undergoes different milestones and builds up their motor development skills. So in the mountain motor development, um, it is broken up, the periods are broken upon uh, on ages. But one thing you have to remember that is these periods are age uh, related, not age determined exactly. And so since you're about eight months, as you said, in pregnancy, uh, you're most likely in the reflexive period, which actually starts before you're born in the third gestational month and ends around two weeks uh, post birth. So how, when we, how will we know when our baby is entering the next stage of the mountain of motor development? So the reflexive period, like I said, ends around two weeks post birth. And in the reflexive period, um, it's all involuntary movements, very phylogenetic. As stated by H. Forsberg, if you guys don't know what phylogenetic is, it's very just species typical, so stuff that us humans all do. And uh, so a signal at the end of reflexive period is once they start doing voluntary movements and um, goal-oriented goal -oriented tasks. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, how will we know when our child has moved on to the next stage in the mountain of motor development. So the second period um, is known as the pre-adaptive period and in this one it usually is around two weeks post birth to a year. Uh, the overall goal of this period is to achieve uh, independent function. So you can expect your baby at this point to start reaching, uh, climbing and crawling, stuff like that, uh, which leads to self-feeding which is actually the end of this period. So when should we expect our child to start walking? So in most normal cases, uh, if your child is developing properly, uh, you can expect that he or she um, will be walking at the end of the pre-adaptive period. Actually. Walking signals the end of the pre-adaptive period. It also signals the beginning of FMP, which is the fundamental motor pattern. Uh, at this point, you should try getting your child to do as many fundamental motor patterns as possible, such as uh, running, skipping, catching, riding, and tying the shoe as these movements are considered to be a uh, base camp. Uh, base camp meaning the stage that your child will naturally return to in order to develop new skills. So soccer is very important in my life and I would really like to get my child um, involved in the game. So I was wondering what would be a good time or what stage should I introduce them to this game? So after the fundamental motor period, which is about one year to seven years of age, uh, your child will actually enter the context specific period. In this period, your child will use uh, the movement patterns mastered in a fundamental motor pattern period to perform tasks with specific con um, with specific context and constraints such as running and uh, kicking to perform soccer. At about 11 years of age, your child will enter the skillful period, uh, at which point you can help um, help them practice become a controlled, consistent, adaptive, and efficient soccer player. Although the skillful period starts about uh, 11 years of age, um, it continues throughout the rest of your life as you can always become skilled in new tasks. However, there is still one more stage which can occur at any point in time, uh, otherwise known as a compensation period. What is the compensation period? So the compensation period actually occurs at any age and uh, could be due to injury or aging. As stated by Jane Clark and James Humphrey, the compensation period is characterized by the need to compensate for changes to organism constraints. These can be 
uh, either injury, disease, or age-related. So do you guys have any more questions for today? I think we're okay. Yeah, here we go. Thank you for your time. We really uh, appreciate it. Good luck on your birth. Thanks. And uh, have a good day. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.